Good morning. Let's get right into it. It's been a lot of talk about Sexy Red and all of the new uh, rappers in this time and, and like Glorilla and what they doing, not doing, they 15, 20, 37 minutes of fame, whatever the people think they going to get. Let me tell y'all something. They in they back. They in they back. They in they back. Like, ain't no hating on that. Now, the music that they put out and the lyrics and all of that, they're up. You know, it's about partying. It's about, you know, having a good time. It's about whatever stuff that people choose to do when they are living um, a party lifestyle or when they just like to go out on weekends and do that. And then they go back to their regular, normal adult life, Monday to Friday or whatever, you know, whenever they work and have to be serious. Like, it's, it's music. Control what your kids listen to, um, look at, watch on TV, uh, monitor that as much as you possibly can, and talk to your kids, you know, give them intelligent, you know, insight and um, advice, and you won't have to worry about all oh, this influencing our children, that's bullshit. Get into what um, the picture and the caption is about. I think that um, it is a genius marketing strategy. If this is real, I haven't done a lot of research on this to see if it's real. I honestly don't care um, as far as, um, you know, what lip gloss is what. Like, I mean, there's, there's so many other things for me to buy and think about. But I'm just saying, if her fan base is what we think it is, which I feel like is, is pretty, pretty big now. Um, she's, you know, not like Beyonce or anything, but... You know, damn, she's she's got a lot of fans. So, um, girls in you know her age bracket or or even older women are gonna buy this stuff just off of the sheer curiosity, um, because of the name of the things. If this is real, I hope it's real. To me, this should be in a marketing class, like a great example of how you take your platform. You take whatever that you're known for or whatever, and you make lemonade out the limits. Because I'm sure that she knows that she's getting a lot of backlash and ridicule from, you know, different people about, oh, you know, she's singing about uh, or rapping about um, nasty stuff or whatever. Listen, sex sale. Sex sale, it always have... From however long uh, humans been on earth and people been having sex, you know, so uh, booty hole brown, coochie pink, like all that, man, somebody gonna buy that. I think, I think coochie pink gonna be probably the best seller if it's, if this is real, if it's really come out. I'm gonna follow this and see if it really do because it, it's kind of interesting. Um, but I would say, worry about yourself and, um, this is a great uh, marketing tactic if if this is really real. For real it is. Um, you know, that's her. If you don't know any other sexy red song, you might not even know her name, but you done heard that. First time I heard it, I was on um I was on TikTok and it was like one of the, the reels or, you know, whatever on there and you know, it was just a sound on there and I didn't know that it was really a song. I made a TikTok to it, okay? I'm out of town, I'm thugging with my, you know, and then I was teaching one day in class, and one of the kids was singing it, and I was like, whoa, whoa, don't, don't say that, like, and they was like, how do you know that song? I said, that's a song? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was, it's like that, so after that, you know, it's like, okay, so this is, this is everywhere, you know, young, old, everybody's is hearing this. When people see that in Sephora or or Walmart, wherever it is going to be, I bet you, I bet you it's going to fly off the shelf. It's definitely great marketing. It's definitely um, great uh, branding that she did right in that song. And I commend her for that. I like me some sexy red. She's straight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not going to say that she's my favorite artist or anything, but, you know, my opinion don't matter. We talking about marketing and how a person um, is using 
something that people are deeming negative to become something very positive that could, you know, outlive her. She could stop, let's say this, you know, lip gloss thing take off and, you know, she become like another, um, what's the makeup uh, Rihanna came out with, like, like another, like Fenty or something. It could. And, you know, Rihanna could stop making music today. When the last time you heard a new song from Rihanna, I'ma wait. She doing the other stuff that's making her a billionaire, all right? So, I think this um, idea is, I hope it's real, and I, I really commend Sexy Red um, for all that she has done thus far and how she's growing in her career. Um, shout out to STL. That's where both sides of my family is from, my mother's side and my dad's side. So, I got to gotta have mad luck for Sexy Red because she's from St. Louis, duh. Um, but y'all have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Free game mind your business and um look at things for what they really are instead of judging um just because something look look weird or whatever trust me the weirder it look the more people probably gonna buy it because people like curious interesting things y'all have a wonderful day Toodles. free game